Hello and welcome back to Mastering the Basics of eQuest Energy Modeling. My name is Neil Bolcher and we're going to go over space templates and using this idea of space templates to set schedules. Last time we looked at setting different inputs for air conditioning and ventilation and something I just wanted to show because it's sometimes easier to see than it is to figure out on one zone is how to set the same idea not just for parameters such as square foot of person and watts a square foot, but for the physical name of a schedule itself, because that's actually a little bit trickier. And so the best way to do that is just look at a few of these as examples. So this is again, my very large model, and we're gonna look at this equipment schedule for plug loads. And if I go and right click, edit view user default, here is how that equation is set up. So again, it's a switch equation looking at the local activity description. Everything always looks at the local activity description. And now for each case, my little two letter key, we use this variable, this, this call, which SI is the ability to go look at a schedule and we do pound SI and then in the parentheses, we write the physical name of the schedule, and then we say comma space, and then comma equipment schedule. It needs this equipment schedule because it is being used for an equipment schedule. I'm gonna hit okay, it's gonna take a second. And this equipment schedule is, is key, and we'll see that that same type of information is needed for each one of these. So if we go to lighting, lighting schedule, for some reason, this one here again, you can see it at the top, there is no E because they probably didn't have enough letters. Again on people, people schedule right there. So you can kind of read what that is going to need to say as you write your formula. That one's not used. And this can even be applied all the way on the air conditioning side. I believe this also is set up for all the thermostat set points. If we go to one of the rooms, oh, it's not there. I think I just did the physical set point. But you get the idea. So that's the way of using these space type templates and not just changing numerical inputs, but also being able to change text-based fields such as schedules. All right, thanks.